Um, but I mean, needless to say, man, like that made that made my night last night. I am super excited for uh, Spider Man uh, No Way Home. I have so many questions. Can't wait for more trailers. Uh, Got to read all the think pieces and whatnot. But speaking of Spidey sense, speaking of Spidey sense, mine is tingling, Michael Holly. My Spidey sense is okay, tingling. Okay, here we go. About a story that we have not talked about. Uh, an individual that we've talked about nearly as much as we did earlier in the offseason or, you know, and, and obviously throughout the summer. And that is one Deshaun Watson. Uh, mm. Currently, but not for long, quarterback of the Houston Texans. Um, my spidey sense is tingling because it's, it's really quiet on the Deshaun Watson front, or it seems quiet on the Deshaun Watson front. It's like, it's like there's been no movement. Everything is just in limbo. And realistically, how long can that last? Okay. Um, something's got to give. The NFL is not going to make this easy on the Texans by placing Deshaun Watson on the commissioner's exempt list. And I'm strictly talking football here, okay? The, the civil okay. process, I'm not a lawyer and I'm not about to play one on TV. The civil process, the criminal process, the 22 civil complaints, the 10 criminal complaints, I believe the numbers are, that's a process unto itself. And there is no definitive timeline when it comes to that, right? Football wise, it is time to poop or get off the pot. Obviously, the, the phrase is different, but I'm cleaning it up for family purposes, right? It's time to poop or get off the right. pot. He's not going on the commission as exemplist because clearly the league doesn't believe that the the evidence or the accusations rise to the level of the league having to take action because if they were going to take action, they'd have done so by now. They would have done it. The they Texans would love to move on. The Texans would love to move on from Deshaun Watson. They I'm would sure love to uh, rid themselves of the distraction and, 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 and get a haul for their franchise quarterback who has not folded, who has not changed his mind about whether or not he'll play. At one point, there was reports saying, oh, the Texans are hoping that he'll come around. That hasn't happened, right? So the issue becomes, is there an owner out there? Is there a team out there willing to take a, a gamble? And with a lot of uncertainty or seeming uncertainty about where things stand, uh, both civilly and criminally with the sexual assault allegations, conventional wisdom is that a team is not going to trade for Deshaun Watson until all that's resolved. Well, that's not gonna be resolved anytime soon, we don't think. So what exactly is the alternative? He can't live in limbo. The Texans have to move on. So I get the feeling, Michael, to I can land this plane. But I get the feeling, my spidey sense is telling me that there is a, there is a trade on the horizon. Please don't sure. hold me to this. This is, this, is, this is my gut. But I get the feeling. Well, don't hold me to it if I'm wrong. If I'm right, we running this back. Okay, deal, deal. <laughs> if I'm that's, right, we'll be replaying works. this. I mean, okay, that's how. I, that's of them the rules. Them the rules. Yeah. Okay, good, good. But no, but seriously, like, I I think there is a trade on the horizon, because I think that a team like the Miami Dolphins is sitting there, and they really they've always wanted Deshaun Watson. Deshaun has always wanted the Dolphins. The Texans have vacillated between not returning calls and then returning calls and then all hell breaks loose and you know, are they, are they talking or they're not? I believe that there's a trade to be made and my spidey sense is telling me that something's gonna something's going down before it's all said and done. I can't see a world in which Deshaun Watson just lives in limbo into the season, especially when there's the business. This is Nick Casario's First rodeo as GM Michael Holly. He has got a roster. Right. He's got decisions to make major decisions to make mm -hmm. about the roster going into the regular season. The Miami Dolphins think they're a playoff team and a Super Bowl team if they were to get Deshaun Watson. Okay. They got they, like they all have to get on with the business of trying to win football games. And this is not me minimizing or marginalizing everybody who listens and watches us should know that I have done Nothing of the sort when it comes to these very serious allegations, but from a football standpoint, man, 
Something's right, got to give. And if the Dolphins are willing yeah. to give up, oh, I don't know, hypothetically speaking, three ones and two twos to go all in on this roster that they've assembled. Three ones and two twos. Obviously, the Texans would jump yeah. all over that. If they need to build in some protections, build in some protections. Point being, I was sitting back last night and I'm saying to myself, damn, like, where is this going? We'll get we'll get a we'll get a press conference every now and then or announcement every now and then from the attorneys. But like the NFL hasn't done anything. So I believe that before it's all said and done in the very near future, I think we'll get some resolution here. That's 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 just my spidey sense is telling me my Peter Tingle. My Peter Tingle is telling me that the Sean Watson, <laughs> he can, he's not he's not going to be, you know, stuck in this web, if you will, uh, much longer. So I that, just want to get that out there. Well, uh, since you got it out, I'm glad and I'm going to stick with the uh, I'm going to stick with the theme. You said your spotty sense is telling you one thing. Well, let's say your spotty sense is here and the Houston Texans are some version of the Green Goblin. They just straight hating. And so I think Nick Casario is seeing some of that when he looks in the mirror. He doesn't see himself. He sees lot, lots of general managers from yesteryear saying, you can't tell, hey, re uh, 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 redeem me, avenge me. You can't allow a player to run your franchise. Was that Willem Dafoe? Haven't I taught you? That was your Green Goblin right there? Have, yeah, right. Avenge me. That's right. <laughs> Haven't I taught you? Haven't I taught you better than yeah. that? And so I think that's really the question. Look, Mike, I agree with everything you're saying about a trade uh, for, for Deshaun Watson is quiet. And when it gets this quiet, that means something is going on, right? The problem here. The problem is the Houston Texans. Charles Robinson. We're going to talk with him later. He was I thought he, he did a great job when we talked with him last week or a couple of weeks ago. And he said must be last week. And he said the Texans don't want to trade Deshaun Watson to the Dolphins. They don't want to trade him to the Broncos. They don't want to trade him within the conference because that in his words paraphrasing that will mean Deshaun gets what he wants. And see, I, I just don't that's, like that type that, of mentality. That's such BS. That's ridiculous. Isn't it? ridiculous? Like, get, I mean, get over you. Look, like, if somebody, if somebody offering you he, three ones and two twos, I don't care what. I, I'll stand right. in a division for three ones and two twos. <laughs> I'm telling you. Say, I'm telling you. If you, know? you know, if you know, you're doing the right thing. I like this is this is the way I look at it in business. I had a I had a situation, a business situation that has come up in the past couple of weeks. And 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 my my thought on it is I don't care what it means for anybody else. What does it mean for us? What does it mean for me? Yes. And so if it's yes. if it's working for me, all right. I right. don't care if you spike the football. I don't care if you if what you're getting out of it. I know what it does for me, and that's that's what I'm right. going with. It is best for the Houston Texans to trade Deshaun Watson and get as much as they can. And if the best deal is from the Miami Dolphins, you take it. You take it. Do you want to move 100%. on? Like, like Mike, this 100%. is what we always talk about. Hundred percent. Do you want to move on or not? Do you want to win or not? Or you want to go to jail? Everybody go says home? they want to win, but they want to win on their. Actually, that was a bad team. reference. That was a bad reference. That was a bad reference to make in this context. Sorry about that. I couldn't resist the training. What did you reference. say? What did you say? But that was a bad. No, don't worry about it. I just, I, you know, we always slipping right. in training day stuff. I'm, I, you know, it's very, it's very yeah. serious. It just was a, it came out instinctively. Forget I said it. Because we're go talking ahead. football. Because we're talking football. We're well, we talking are talking about... football. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the lifeline. We are talking football. We're, right. we're strictly between the lines. We're not talking about the thank moral you. compass. Okay. We're not talking about the moral compass of um, yeah. Deshaun Watson because we just don't know. We don't know about anybody. But just in a football sense, the Texans, it's almost as if they're, they've held up this process for a long time. And I just, I, I can't get over this thought. Nick Casario, rookie GM has to just be kicking himself, kicking himself. Like, don't at that some he didn't point, do it earlier. Yes. Stop listening to the outside voices. Do you you man Nick Casario? You're making $6 million a year. 
you are the envy. Trust me. You are the envy of many general managers around the NFL. You're the envy and the inspiration. Envy of inspiration for many general managers in the NFL because you got a salary like that. You're changing the game and you got to be there for a while or they'll be paying you for a while. So be your own man. Unless this is his decision and if this is his first decision, uh, it's a big swing and a miss. I think he will be traded if they trade him outside of the conference because they're afraid of the AFC. They've already made a huge mistake. And it's, and it's going to reverberate for four or five years. Listen, um, again, I, I'm not in, I'm not as plugged in as our man Charles, who we'll talk to in about 20 minutes uh, about this and, yeah. and plenty of other topics. Um, I, I'm just looking at the lay of the land and honestly, you know, what the inspiration for this was you are if, if we're being honest, you no know the inspiration for this was. All right, let's go. Let's go. That's what we do. This, That's this, what we do. This we're well, not just not just my years of, of covering and following football and my, my my insight, my feel for the game, but you know, to be honest with you, I was in the game. Uh, my son, Mason, my thirteen year old oh, son Mason, pressured me, oh, boy. forced me into purchasing Madden twenty two, which I haven't played yet. I have not fired it up yet. I have not fired it up. For the I, and I, on, on everything, I I I, I, I told you I didn't I didn't I didn't left that narcotic alone. All right, I'm off that narcotic. Okay, but I bought it for Mason. He was in franchise mode. Five Eastern. And I was like, five oh two Eastern. If I was franchising, I'm the type of guy that I would get the Texans, because you know I like to build stuff from the ground up. You know, so I would move to Sean, get those picks. So that's what got me to thinking, like, yo, what is going on? Like, what are we doing here? You know, like, what are we doing with Deshaun Watson in real in real life, as we say? Like, is is he just going to be inactive every week? I mean, are they going to suspend him? Is he going to fake an injury throughout the course of the year? Like, what exactly is the course of action? I'm not saying that that should offset the huge gamble that it would appear to be on the surface to trade for somebody with so many so much baggage and so so many things so, so many uh, questions off the field. But when it comes to his availability, the NFL has already made its its stance known. He is free to partake in all team activities. It's amazing. All team activities. They're they're not going to bail him out of the situation, which the Texans thought they were going to do. They're not going to bail him out. Something's got to give if and I and I, and I, and I, I am 100 percent in agreement. I've said it. If if somebody like the Dolphins gives them something even 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 close to that. That's the market value for him. But even close to that, the Texans for their own sake have got to do it. Something's got to give, especially if somebody's going to give you anywhere close to uh, a decent to good return for Deshaun Watson at this point if you used to because they ain't playing for me. Couple things as I hear the music play. Couple things, rightfully so. The music's playing. I like that. Couple things before we go to break. One, I don't think you can last until September 1st. As a matter of fact, I don't think it can last to the end of the week. You will be playing. You'll be in franchise mode if I take you at your word that you haven't done it already. And I'm 50 50 on that. So I, quite honestly, I'm just going to tell you straight up. I'm 50 50 that you haven't played it. I got the and you know, technically, approved. franchise mode is not playing. I think you have been on the game. Maybe you haven't played gameplay, right? Is that technicality? Okay, all right. You no, won't last. No, I'm telling you, bro, I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't lie. September I wouldn't 1st. lie. 